Hey everyone, in this video we will demonstrate features in Digital Factory used to optimize your production workflow, including find barcodes, photoba marks, and print label setup. You will be shown how these features work and how to set them up. By using find barcode for a job, barcodes will be printed at the front and back of your job, allowing it to be searched with a barcode scanner for cutting. Photoba marks can be added easily in the production markup to be used with photoba cutting devices. Finally, print label setup with enhanced confidence strips and print job name as barcode can be used in DTF printing. Confidence strips are needed to make sure all nozzles print all the time. Barcodes are useful to identify the job after it's printed or for creating barcode workflow sheets to aid in the production workflow. For more on barcodes in the production workflow, please watch Setting Up Workflow Using Barcodes and Suma Cutters on our YouTube channel. These four samples and simple barcode generation will be used to demonstrate the find barcode function, and then a combination of barcode and Roland registration marks will be created. Before we import the files, we need to set up the system. Click on the Q menu and select Properties at the bottom, or double-click on the Q tab to open the Q Properties dialog. Once the Q Properties dialog opens, select Production Markup found in the Settings section on the left. Select Barcode for Find Job in the System drop-down list and Per Content in the Mode drop-down list. In the Markup System Settings section, select Print Bottom Barcode and Print Top Barcode. This ensures the barcodes will be scanned regardless of how the printout is placed in the cutter, whether it's inserted front first or back first, resulting in a correct cutout. Select code 39 for barcode type and select left for position. This will be away from the cutting head. Finally, at the bottom, set 0.4 inch margins around the job and a padding of 0.4 inch margins on top and bottom. Next, select the layout manager on the left and select allow job rotation when block nesting. Click OK to close the dialog. In the lower right, set Q to Auto Nest. Right click in the Q panel and select Import File and select your files into the Q. In the preview, they appear with barcodes on the top and bottom. Right click on the first job and select RIP only from the menu. Once the files are ripped, right click on the job again and select View Raw Data to see how they would print. Two barcodes have been created, and the barcode will be scanned, regardless of which direction the job is loaded into the cutter. This system works for cut-only jobs, but for print and cut jobs, we need to add the registration marks for the cutter. Go back to the Production Markup in Q Properties. Double-click on the Q tab, select Production Markup in the Settings section on the left. The settings need to be changed to add the Roland Registration System to the Barcode for Find Job option. Change the barcode type to QR code and the position is set to center. Make sure add multiple system is ticked. On the top right, it shows the barcode for find job system is set. We now select another system, select Roland software generated from the drop down list. The margins and padding don't need to be set for this. Press the add markup button. The registration system is added to the top right. Press OK to close the dialog. When we import the files again, the Roland registration mark can be seen in the preview on the right, along with the find job QR code. This will allow you to print and cut the job. Right click on the job and select RIP only. When complete, right click again and select view raw data. In the raw data, the QR codes can be seen and do not interfere with the Roland registration system. When the jobs are printed, you can put them back into the cutter scan the QR code, and the job is ready to cut. You might need to position the cutter head onto the first registration mark. This greatly increases the efficiency. Another feature in our production markup is using the Photoba marks. Double-click on the Q tab to open the Properties dialog. Select the Production Markup in the Settings section on the left. Select Photoba from the System drop-down list. Select Per Copy from the Mode drop-down list and leave the default markup system settings, but ensure the Print Vertical Marks box is selected. Click OK. With a job selected in the queue, create a copy group by clicking on the Copies button found in the lower right, twice. Change the settings to three columns and two rows. With 0.4 inch X spacing and 0.4 inch Y spacing, click Apply. To see the resulting Photoba marks, right-click on the job in the queue and select RIP only. 
Once that is complete, right-click on the RIP job and select View Raw Data. Here you can see the horizontal and vertical Fotoba marks. Digital Factory has enhanced the confidence strip system and added print name barcode for a better workflow when printing labels. With a DTF printer installed, double-click on the Q tab and select Print Labels from the Settings section on the left of the dialog. The Print Labels window is split into two sections. Enable Labels and Enable Confidence Strips. Tick both boxes beside the titles to activate both. In Enable Labels, select Per Job from the drop-down menu to the right. Set the offset to 0.6 inches. Tick Add Barcode, and for barcode type, select Standard Barcode from the drop-down menu, and for position, select Center from the respective drop-down. Tick Do Not Apply Processing Options. Next, in the Enable Confidence Strip section, choose Left Strip and set the width to 0.4 inches, the lead into 0.4 inches, and the X offset 0.4 inches. Untick Do Not Apply Processing Options. Next, select the Layout Manager on the left in the Settings section and set the space between jobs to 0.8 inches and click OK. Right-click in the Q panel of the DTF printer and import your files. When the files are imported, you can see the confidence strip with the lead in and the jobs moved in X by 0.4 inches with a placeholder for the barcode. Use RIP only and view raw data as before to see the results. In view raw data, we see the barcode with the name of the file. There is no white with the barcode as per the settings. When we look at the confidence strip, it prints all colors and prints white on top. The print name barcode feature can also be very useful in combination with our automatic job sorter to create worksheet barcodes for production and can be printed on any desktop printer. To set this up, install a queue for a local desktop GDI printer. In the queue properties, go to Media Setup in the Settings section on the left and create a template with six different slots. 2.5 inches by 3.5 inches with X spacing of 0.2 inches and Y spacing of 0.4 inches. In Print Labels section on the left, tick Enable Labels, Set Per Job, with an offset of 0.2 inches. Next, tick Add Barcode, and choose Standard Type from the drop-down menu with the position of Center. To have the jobs print automatically, go to the Scheduling Options found on the left, and for the Print Job selection, choose Rip and Print Jobs now from the drop-down list. Finally, back in the Layout Manager, ensure Preview Multiple Page Jobs as an overlay is selected. Click OK. You can now print out worksheets to help track and organize your jobs. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, hit the like button. And if you have any questions, please reach out to us at any time. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos covering digital factory products. Thank <music> you.